Hello, welcome to this presentation on objectives. Before we start learning how to write an objective, it is important to understand what an objective is. By definition, a learning objective is a statement that tells what learners should be able to do when they have completed a segment of instruction. Most explicit learning objectives describe what learners can do to demonstrate that they have learned. What learners do must be observable so that the learners know that they have learned and what they have learned. Objectives can be written at the lesson level, the course level, or various other levels such as units, blocks, or chapters. These different levels of objectives are equally precise and concrete descriptions of learning outcomes. This presentation describes how to write the simplest form, the ABCD model. The ABCD model consists of the A, audience, B, behavior, C, condition, and D, degree. Here are four examples of objectives using the ABCD model. One, given 10 drawings of geometric figures, the learner will circle all of the polygons. Two, given a paragraph, the student will underline at least 90% of the verbs. Three, the student will list at least six of the steps in the instructional design process in correct order. Four, given a malfunctioning VCR, the student will locate and repair the problem so that the VCR functions correctly. The audience may be the easiest part of the objective to write. Somewhere in the objective you write who will be doing the objective. In the first example, the audience is stated as the learner. In the last three, the audience is stated as the student. The behavior is a description of the end behavior or action that will demonstrate learning. This is the most critical part of the objective and usually involves the use of Bloom's verbs. In the first example, the behavior is to circle the polygons. In the second example, the behavior is to underline the verbs. In the third example, the behavior is to list the steps in the instructional design process. In the last example, the behavior is to locate and repair the problem. The description of the conditions of demonstration is the second most critical part of the learning objectives. This component of the objective describes the tools or information that the learners will be given when they demonstrate their learning. In the first example, the condition is given 10 drawings of geometric figures. The condition of the second example is given a paragraph. The condition of the third example was not explicitly stated. Usually when students list, they list in writing, but today it could be listing orally or in other methods. Therefore, it is best to explicitly state the condition and not imply the condition. The condition of the last example is given a malfunctioning VCR. The final part of an objective is the degree or criteria. This statement describes how well the learner must do for you to say the learner has achieved the objective. Degree can be stated using the following methods. Accuracy, number of errors, number of correct answers, time, consistent with an established standard, consistent with a stated standard, and consequences. In our four examples of objectives, the degrees are stated differently. In the first example, the degree is stated by number of correct responses, all. In the second example, the degree is stated as the percentage correct, at least 90%. In the third example, the degree is stated as a minimum of correct responses, at least six in the correct order. The last example, the degree is stated as a consequence, so that the VCR functions correctly. There is no set order for objectives and which component part comes first. It is important that you check with your instructor if he or she has a preferred order. As you can see from the examples here, the order of the ABCDs can be rearranged in another order but still measure the same thing.